All right, guys, my name is Alberto. Welcome to my Destroyer channel, my movie channel. Um, like, uh, like, subscribe, and share if you like my videos. We're to, okay, now, um, I've been waiting for a long time to do this. Ta-da! I've been keeping a secret to everybody from all my videos and all my live streams is I always want to do this. I'm going to, I'm excited to do this. We, and especially if you are here for that I'm gonna do the Terrifier first movie. This is the first time I do a, a movie review on Terrifier, the first movie. Remember, it's the first one, right? Because there, there's part two and three is coming up. But this is, we're gonna start at the beginning and start on Terrify, Terrifier 1. So let's begin, shall we? Here we go. Terrifier 1, this is my movie review of Terrifier 1. Let's go, let's get it, let's get it cracking. All right, um, it starts off with this. We got this guy getting dressed up. It's Art the Clown. He's getting ready, he's getting weapons ready and all that. And at the same time, he's seeing a television show that's showing... This disfigured female and the anchor woman, and they're doing a news pro podcast. And she's asking uh, this girl what it's saying the story of Art the Cloud, and this girl says, uh, "Art the Clown's dead. I saw it. You know, so obviously Art the Clown did this to her." And then later on, this anchor lady's on the phone, and. Um, She's talking to, it looks like a, her husband or boyfriend, whatever, and saying, oh, that girl is very dis disfigured. <clears throat> and then she looks at some, her, <laughs> her, sorry, her, she's looking at the her wardrobe and all that, and she sees, a, like, the clothes are moving, like someone was there, and she goes over there, and she got, she's like, I get, let me call you back, honey, and I got another call there, and there was a, she was on her cell phone, then that other call wasn't there, hello, hello, but she sees the clothes moving in the wardrobe. And then she's like, there's nothing there. And all of a sudden pops up this disfigured chick, gets her on the floor, and then pokes out her eyes. And puts her thumbs in her eyes, killing this news anchor woman. So, this anchor woman, she dead. She did. Once they put your fingers in your eyes, you're dead, man. All right. After that, <clears throat> Arthur Clown was still getting ready, making weapons and all that. You even see him putting makeup on his face and stuff like that. He was he. There was this corkscrew, and he was putting that, like some kind of uh, like a big staple in it. Pretty cool. He had like kind of whip at all these knives and stuff like that. All these other weapons he's just coming up with. So now it's gonna change. This thing's gonna change, and we're gonna have these two girls that look like they came from a Halloween party. And it's uh, Don and Tara. They're walking and stuff. They're talking, and then <clears throat> Don goes to. They're going to her Don's car. And uh, Tara calls Don D sometimes. So they're going to go in the car and then uh, Tara tells Don, oh, you're way too drunk. Let me drive. I ain't going to let you drive. I'm going to let you drive. Whatever. And then Tara says, okay. And then Don says, Tara, you could drive. But she's like, oh, like I'm too, too, too drunk to drive, whatever. Right. But this, they see in the corner of a building that Art the Clown is there. He keeps staring at Tara. Guy gives me the creeps. So they 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 look away for a moment, and then uh, and Donna doesn't seem afraid of the clown the the clown, but it creeps out Tara. So Tara's like, you know what? Let's go eat some pizza. Let's go to that place, and it'll it'll uh, sober me right up because they were drunk drinking at that Halloween party. Okay. So. 
they are going to go Donatera are going to go to this pizza place. It's a pretty ordinary pizza place, right? So they're going to go in. They're going to go in the pizza place. In the pizza place, we have two employees there as well. We got we got Ramon, which looks like the manager, and, and this guy is Steve over here. This is Steve, and this is Ramon. Ramon's on the phone talking and stuff like that. He tells Ramon, 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 tells the girls, you know, go sit wherever you want, whatever. Art the Clown comes in. And Art the Clown, these guys have a seat, Tara and Don, and Art the Clown comes in, he keeps staring at at, at uh, Tara. Don goes to the restroom. She comes back. And Don, <laughs> I like I like this part. And then Tara's like, that guy creeps me out. And he, and by the way, this guy has like some bag in it, a, a black like like trash bag. And then uh, Tara's like. This clown creeps me out. He keeps, you know, staring at me. Don goes, oh, man. Let me go over there. Do you mind if I take a picture with you? She has a phone. She gets on him, puts on around him, and takes a selfie. She even slaps his little hat at one point to his to his head, and he puts it back on. And then she takes a selfie with him, puts her arm around him. She goes to sit back with Tara. It's like, man. Oh. See, he's nothing to be afraid of. But then comes there comes Steve. Hey buddy. Okay, what can I what can I do for you? Do you for? Want some pizza? Art the clown doesn't answer, he doesn't say anything. He never says anything. All right, buddy, if you're not going to order some pizza, then I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Don't say anything. Oh, this is going to be a crazy night. Then Steve goes back to where Ramon. Ramon's still making pizza back there. Art the Clown gets some change from another... He gets, up, gets some change from another table. He goes to a gumball machine and... Pops up a ring and gives it to Tara and gets her hand. And, what are you doing? And puts the ring on her. And then Don's like, oh, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. And then Art the Clown goes to the restroom. Um, so, Steve talks to Don and Tara, are you girls okay, the guy words me out, and then Don's like, we're okay, and Tara and Don's like, yeah, we're okay, I'll take care of them, don't worry about it girls, enjoy your pizza. Since Art the Clown's in the restroom, Steve comes along. And then you see that this guy did something ugly with feces or crap on the toilet or something. Something disgusting that I can't really mention here. So it's so disgusting. Gets the clown. Gets up by his shoulder and he's all, Art the Clown's like all scared. Yeah, he starts kicking him out. Get out of here. Don't come back. He throws his bag at him. And then the clown's like making faces out the window. Hey. So Steve has kicked out Art the Clown.
the the girls go ahead and leave. They're done. And they're about to go to the car. Tara. She still Tara still has a ring on. And Don's like, you still have the ring? She throws it. And they go go to the car. They go back to the car. Now, going back to Steve and Ramon in the pizza place. Right? Steve had told Ramon, hey, go clean up that stuff in the toilet. And then Ramon's like cleaning that feces or poop in the toilet. It's disgusting. I have to watch what I say here. Ramon's like, I'm tired of cleaning this. Steve, I want time for time and a half or I'm out of here. I handle your food for crying out loud. You have me cleaning this crap out of the toilet, literally. Ramon says, Steve? Poor Ramon finds Steve has been turned into a jack-o'-lantern by Art the Clown. Art the Clown you know, put fireworks in him and stuff. Candles in his eyes and his mouth and his nose, whatever. I'm sorry, not the nose, mouth, whatever. Ah! He tries to leave. The phone rings. Ramon runs to the to the phone. And uh Art the Clown goes after him, cuts his hand, then stabs his face. And stabs his face with uh script that is a knife. And then starts stabbing his face, killing Ramon. Now Ramon he dead. He's dead. He ain't coming back. Steve's dead. And they're gone. Okay, now we're gonna go back with Tara and Dawn in the car. Hey man, that guy's weird. Why do you keep looking back? Well, I'm looking out for that clown. Okay. Um. Then Tara says, "Hey Don, I gotta go pee." Right. So that's where they see this building, and they say they see Mike goes off for a smoke. Right? This guy's always smoking, so he might as well put a put a smoke a cigarette in his mouth. Right? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> So, <laughs> I like when Don's, and then Don is like, well, she's like, go ask her to, go ask him to go use the restroom. Okay. Don is in the car and she says, man, that guy, that guy, he looks you know, he looks scarier than the clown. <laughs> okay. 
Mike's in the porch in the building. Hey, can I use your restroom? Uh, nah, it's not really allowed. I don't own the place. Please? Then Don says, She'll make it worth your while. Come on, nobody's gonna know. Okay, fine, I'll let you in the building. They're in the building and Mike leads, leads Tara to the restroom. Man, where are you, what are you doing here, Mike? Um, I'm gonna bomb this place. Oh, are you part of Al Qaeda or are you Palestinian? No. A bug bomb. I'm an exterminator. Oh, you're like you're dumb. I'm an exterminator. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's a toilet. How about if something crawls out of there? Oh, uh, and I'd make it fast then. Do you, you need me to show you the way out of the building? Um. You know the way you came in, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, you'll be fine. Okay, see you. Have a good night. Um, so Tara uses a restroom, which is disgusting, and then she wants to leave. And then she sees Art the Clown, and Art the Clown starts chasing her. She goes hides behind a car in the building. They're still in the building. She st he stabs her in the in the in the ankle. Um, and there's a battle and all that. And at what point she uh, she escapes? She ran away. Mike is there. And uh, Mike is smoking upstairs with some headphones on. Listen to music smoking. Can you see the headphones? Not much, right? Okay. And then, um, and then Tara's like, Mike! Mike, come help me. Right? Mike doesn't hear her. And Art the Clown is there. And puts a shard on her neck. Ooh, like this. Ten of the shot. Okay. And not that shot knocks out. Knocks out. Um, Tara. And uh, we're gonna have Dawn's at the car. Someone enters a car with her. She's like, it's about time you finish going to the restroom. And it's Art the Clown. Ah! We don't know what, what Art the Clark, Clown did to to dawn. Tara wakes up in the in the in the building still. And um she wakes up in a chair. in the chair and Art the Clown reveals something to her which is oh by the way 
little flashback. Uh, Tara had met Cat Lady. This is Cat Lady. Before she got a, put in the chair with Art the Clown. There's a cat lady around. And she's crazy carrying a little baby and stuff. A little baby doll. Whatever. We call her cat lady. But back to the scene. We got Tara in the chair. We got Art the Clown. And Art the Clown's going to reveal a surprise to her. Which is... Tara upside down and with some chains to some contraption <clears throat> and then like Tara's in the chair like no no and Art the Clown gets us all and he starts sawing Dawn, and this is Dawn, in half. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He takes off her panties. He pulls them down. I have to cover up the her nudity because this is a family show. And he starts sawing Dawn in half, starting in her, I don't even want to say, genital area. And he cuts her all the way in half, all the way to the head. Vic Tara then get, is able to escape the chair somehow. She pulls out and she escapes and runs away. Art the Clown then pays Dawn back and does a selfie with her with her phone. It takes a selfie with her head. So Dawn is dead. Dawn of the Dead like the movie. He did. She did. She's dead. So Art the Clown goes. Art the Clown goes after Tara. There's a battle. She gets she gets a board. And able, during the battle, gets a board. And She starts beating up Art the Clown. Whippa, whippa. She has him on the floor. She come on, you MF. Is that all you got? It's the battle. She has him down. And then Art the Clown gets a gun out of his boot. And then he shoots Tara in the face. And then she keeps shooting her. She's still alive. She's her again. So, Tara dead. Tara is dead. By the way, they had Tara had called, sorry. Tara had called Victoria, her sister, to go pick her up because their car had a flat. That's why they didn't go, it couldn't go anywhere. Somebody had flat their car. Somebody flat their car. Tired. Tire dead. The car, the tire flat.
So now we have But actually, actually, we got a um, cat lady was witnessing some of the stuff where Art the Clown was killing Tara. This cat lady, she had like a bum in, the, in there. She witnessed Art the Clown killing Tara. And then Art the Clown had her baby. And it's like, okay. Give me back my baby, whatever. And then he gets, he, she starts soothing him. He starts getting his hair. He starts sucking his thumb. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. Okay. Victoria was studying and all that till Tara had called her that they had a flat and come get her. So Victoria goes, she goes into the building. And then she sees. And then she sees Art the Clown. Oh no, she sees uh, some lady or something like that. It's on the floor. And it's Art the Clown with long hair posing as a girl. And Victoria's like, ah, oh, it's a lady with long hair and all that. And then we see that Cat Lady's nearly nude. And so is Art the Clown. But Cat Lady has her breast cut off. <clears throat> and she's dead. She's dying. She's dead. She's gone. Because Art the Clown cut off her breast. And she's gonna die of blood loss of anything. And with no breast, no boobs. The cat lady did. She dead, she's gone. So, Art the Clown goes after Victoria. And Art. And uh, Art the Clown looks like this. He's walking like this. And Victoria had seen him like that too. I put the forgot the bum here. He's walking naked. There's a family show. I had to, I had to take this out, but he's naked. Walking around with... Um, he put the boobs on from Cat Lady on him. Can you believe that? He's walking like this. He's scaring Victoria too. So Victoria goes into a locker and hides in there. And then Art the Clown like pops up in the locker. <laughs> Scares her. But there's a honk outside. Somebody's honking outside. And who it is? Somebody rides in a truck, and it's um, some guy, it's an exterminator, has been calling Mike, and Mike doesn't answer. Mike, why don't you answer? Mike hasn't answered because, because Art the Clown, Mike was walking down the stairs, and Art the Clown, Hit, hit Mike with a hammer. So right in the, right in the noggin. So Mike is is injured.
Mike has been injured in the noggin, hit by the hammer by Arctic Clown. Or dead, we don't know. Mm, so, Victoria is safe for right now, but this new exterminator guy has been calling Mike is outside. He, fi he finally finds a key and then gets inside and uh, he finds a doll from the cat lady and then our a clown comes behind him. And he stabs this really, really sharp knife in his head. <clears throat> right? Stabbed in the head. So, he has a big gash with a, from, the, from, this, from this really sharp knife he put. And an Arctic clown chops off his head. I'm like, dude, this guy has a really cool... He has a really good, cool bodybuilding body and starts cutting his head and then beheads him. So this new exterminator guy is dead. Okay. Victoria. Tara's sister sees sees Tara's body on a chair that she's dead. Ah, Tara, you're dead in the chair. So Victoria runs away. He runs away from Art the Clown. There's a battle. Uh, Art the Clown's about to kill Victoria. And then Mike comes and saves the day and hits, hits Art the Clown with something. Hits him with a board. Mike hits Archer Clown with a board, knocking out Archer Clown. It is Archer Clown. Mike asks Victoria, Hey, are you, are you okay? Yes, let's go to this room. Mike tells her, Hey, calm down, calm down. I'll make a phone, call the cops. Mike calls the cops and is like, What's your area and what's going on? Yeah, this lady's really hurt real bad. Come on, tell me, or just send the cops real quick. Shut up, operator. Come, come help us. So, they're together. Then Art the Clown somehow gets in and sneaks in and knocks out Mike. <laughs> Victoria's like, ah! Art the Clown gets Mike down and starts stomping his head <laughs> when it just blows. He... He stomps his head so bad with a final blow with a kick that it, it spreads Mike's head like a watermelon. Now Mike's dead. His head got exploded. Mike dead, he gone. Art the Clown goes after Victoria. And he gets her down, pummels her and all that. He starts, and then he's, he has her down, knocked out, and he starts eating her face. Oh, I'm sorry. Before that, she was like at some garage place in the building. Art the Clown came in the truck. He goes into... He drives the truck, breaks into the garage, and, and then she, he gets in. Then he knocks out Victoria. He starts eating her face. 
Mm, yummy pizza. It's like tastes like pizza. Or don't taste like fish. Does it taste like chick but chicken but tastes like fish or whichever? The cops bust in. The cops bust in with guns. Hey, you! Put it down! Stop it! You're under arrest! Art the Clown was eating Victoria's face. And, um... They all have guns. They're like, get off her, get off her. And then Art the Clown gets the gun. And he's like, don't do it, don't do it. Art the Clown shoots himself in the mouth. And he puts his mouth and then he kills himself. So Art the Clown is there. He blew his brains out. He's out. He's dead. So the cops attend to Victoria. Next you see they have sent Art the Clown's body in a body bag that the some paramedics have sent to the to the coroner's office. So we're in the coroner's office. And then he's along with a doctor. The paramedics leave him with a doctor, with a coroner, and the coroner opens in the, the body bag, and, and, oh, and then that, the lights start flickering. Then the coroner opens up the body bag, and our clown starts killing the coroner. Ah, he wakes from the dead, and he's killing the coroner, kill the coroner. Coroner dead. That's scary, guys. So Victoria turns like this because Art the Clown was eating her face. They show her being attended by two people that are going to take care of her and love her. And there's a doctor saying she's fine, that she's funny and all that. I don't know if she's funny. She looks like this. And that is the end of the original Terrifier. The end. I'm going to give you my comments on Terrifier. I absolutely love this movie. Me, I'm kind of how I've been through a lot of my life and a lot of things don't scare me. Movies used to scare me. When I was 12 years old, I would I would go hide behind the sofa and all that. I was very afraid. But, you know, things have life is hard and all that. Now I feel it's hard to me where scary movies, you're not even, I don't know. They kind of don't scare me, but this movie actually made me cringe, which I was like, I guess. Yes, I like the murdering. I like the killing in the movie. It was awesome. I loved it. It's intense. My life has been intense with people that don't love me. You know, I, I don't want to get into that. But that's what you know. That's what gets me upset, and that's why I like seeing murder movies and take out my frustration seeing some guy murder people in in the movie. And it's it's all cool. Um, it's up to you. If you think I'm a little loco, a little crazy, but I'm okay. I'm gonna I'm a little out by intense. I'm okay. But I do like, the point is, I like gross movies. A lot of people cringe, you don't want to see this. Some people that say they don't like it, like they're my my mentor, some guy that does movie reviews like me, they don't like it. He said he doesn't like it. I bet you he doesn't like it because he's afraid of it. He is just afraid. I like these gross movies. It made me cringe in a good way. I didn't get, I didn't get scared. You know, there will be a movie that scares me one day. You know, there, there has been. I just can't remember anything, any of them. I actually get more scared how people treat other people. I would rather see killing in movies. Um, but it, it was, it was gross. It had a good storyline. It was creepy and all that. A lot of people don't like it. I do. That's why I'm doing. I don't know. Um, uh, oh, by the way, Arthur Clown writes in his little bike in circles. <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed that part. Um, let me see. It'd be something like this: a little bike. He's riding around in circles. 
But anyways, I love the film. It was gross. I like that. It was really creepy. A lot of people can't take just looking, looking at Art the Clown because they cringe. That I, it's just a cringe. I do like. It's a cringe in a good way. I, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't really get, I don't get scared. You know, I, I really got into. I liked, I like the killing the marine. It's really cool for, you know, killing horror fun. Uh, yeah, I mean, he freaks out Tara. And uh, the killings were awesome. They split Dawn in half with a with a with a saw. That was really cool. Um, I like the ending. I like this film, man. It's easily in my top five. One of these days, I'm gonna do a top ten. And Terrifier, the original Terrifier, I easily makes it into my top five. Um, the pizza place <clears throat> where they. That was one of my favorites. I probably threw him. <laughs> when they when he made uh, Steve's face the pizza owner to a to a to a jack o' lantern with a with a with a rockets and his he had candles in his eyes that was cool. Uh, they stabbed uh, Ramon's face, the pizza worker. I have to I'm mentioning everything. Um, they hit the hammer on on a. Um, Mike's head, the exterminator. That was gonna. That was not a. That was just a knockout. But that sets up when they they stomp on, on Mike's head, and then they stabbed the, um, the the new exterminator that was calling Mike. They stabbed him in the head. Like this. Remember this really sharp knife, and and they shot cut off his head. That's cool. The stabbing of the head reminds me of a Friday the Thirteenth movie where there's a. A big lady, and they stabbed her. A, a, a overweight lady, and they stabbed her in the head. She was eating a banana. That's what it reminded me of. What else? Ah, uh, he starts eating Victoria's face. Cool. Cool for horror, gross, gruesome. I don't know, man. They cut off the Art the Clown. Cut off Cat Cat Woman or Cat Lady's uh, boobs, and then put it on him. That was cool. That was just really weird. I don't mind weird in movies. And he pretended to be... Have, I, he put himself on over like a coat and he was on the ground. He put a wig on pretending to be the cat lady. Which Victoria didn't know that Victoria came in and he just she just saw a clown with hair naked with, bo with boobs that are cut off. And that was her first experience being her poor girl. Uh, I don't know. Did I mention Ramon? Ramon was a pizza worker. They stabbed him in the face. They keep stabbing him in the face. Uh, it was just a great story. Like good, gruesome stuff. Weird stuff. I don't mind. Weird is good too. It's just that just makes. It's one of the creepiest movies I've ever seen. And there's other movies that are gross that compare to it. And I can't wait to see those. There's a couple of them after. I can't remember one of their names. Um, I'm just going on and on. Uh, oh yeah, I like that Art the Clown. He's one of the few murderers or killers that they use a gun. Usually, in all, you know, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you always use a, ch a chainsaw, or Jason Voorhees always use some kind of weapon like a, <clears throat> like an axe or a bow and arrow, or whatever. But they hardly ever use gun. Like Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees night from uh, from uh, Friday Thirteenth. All these other killers, they never used guns. This guy did. He used everything, all kinds of weapons and a gun. I like that he used the gun. Like when murder movies are coming out first or horror movies, if they used the gun, it's kind of lame. It would have been kind of lame because it's like, oh, Cowboys use guns and all that. It was in the old times. But this, they never used guns, but now it's, he's bringing, he, he used the gun. He's one of the few killers I see that use a gun. So that's really cool. Um, What else? Mm. Oh, by the way, um, Victoria was in the wheelchair. I put the wheelchair. She was in this wheelchair. <laughs> That's a fast wheelchair. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm making my analyst too long. I, I'm going to try to finish up. Um, it's just a gross movie, and it's a good movie. It's a good horror film. Good horror Crazy, a lot of crazy fun, a lot of killing, gross stuff. 
Man, when they cut Don in half, I mean, that was trying to see where his body is. He cut it all the way in half to the head and took a picture. He, he got back at her because she took he she took a picture with him at the pizza restaurant. The pizza restaurant. No, I thought that's the coroner's office. Remember this when he was walking naked with the boobs of the cat woman and had a hit at this. It is a family show. There he used the gun. Now check this out. This is the ring. Remember he gave the ring to Art the Clown gave the ring to Tara. You know, I'm glad that the little bike is bigger than the ring. See that? <laughs> All right, I should wrap it up already. Uh, I just love the gross action, good storyline. A lot of people don't like these movies. I do. This is why I do this. I like my favorite is like horror movies and probably action. All, and after that, you know. Um, <clears throat> all right, I'm going to finish up. But I, if you... If you have not seen this movie, I recommend you go see it. But, well, you have to like gross movies. I've had people tell me I don't like that movie. Adults, kids, they say they don't like that movie. But if you like gross movies, this is a movie for you. You know, if you're too picky and very sensitive and all that, like my mom, don't even bother watching it. And that's my review on Ter the original Terrifier, Terrifier 1, I'll call it. So you won't get mixed up with Terrifier 2, whatever knows is the original Terrifier 1. That concludes my review. Don't forget to sub subscribe, like, and share if you like my videos. And uh, I, lo I love Terrifier 2. It should be, it's going to be in my top five, definitely. And that concludes my review. But I'm going to leave you with this. <clears throat> the world will never be a perfect place, but we can all make it better till next time. My name's Alberto, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye. Take care.